For more free trading education, visit informtrades.com. Hi folks, David Waring here again with informtrades.com and the next lesson in a series on trading Forex using the MetaTrader platform by Sean Overton. In the last video in this series, Sean continued his discussion on how to backtest in MetaTrader with a look at how to analyze your backtest results. In today's lesson, we're going to continue this discussion on backtesting with a look at how to update price history in MetaTrader. So let's get started. Hi, this is Sean Overton with OneStepRemove.com. In this video, we're going to discuss updating price histories for MetaTrader. The most common reason for doing this is a low backtest quality. In the top right corner of any report, the quality is reported, and if you see it less than 90%, chances are that there are some corruptions in the price history and that you need to update it. The way you do this is you find a free source to import it. Most people use Alpari. The link for doing that is www.alpari-idc.com slash en slash dc slash databank.html. You can copy that off the screen there. It's probably easier than writing it down for my voice. When the page loads, there are two sets of files loaded into columns. On the left, you have the one-minute price history. On the right, you have the daily price history. Most expert advisors run on an intraday basis, requiring one-minute data. That's usually what most people are interested in. Left-click on the currency of interest. It'll prompt you to save the file. Just remember where you're saving it to and push OK. It'll take a while to download these. Most of these files are 13 to 14 megabytes. Be patient. Once you've got them downloaded, remember where you saved it and navigate there using my computer. And now you just need to extract the files. Uh, inside the zip is a .hst, which represents historical data for MetaTrader. If you have Vista, this is pretty easy. Just double click on the zip folder and click extract all files at the top. Again, remember a location that you can easily remember and push OK and it'll extract everything. If you're using XP, then you need to use a program like WinZip or WinAce, but it's the same principle. You're unzipping the file and saving it to a location you can remember. Once, the, once you're done unzipping the file, open up MetaTrader if it's not open already. You can push F2 on your keyboard for a shortcut or click on Tools and then History Center. That'll load, and on the there are two columns again. On the left, it has the currencies, and on the right, it has the raw price history for that currency. This is a little trick, but it's important that you double-click on the currency that you're interested in, then that you double-click on the price that you're interested in. Once those prices have actually loaded, click on Import towards the bottom right corner. It'll prompt you with a new window that says import and then it, it'll tell you the time frame that's currently clicked. If you didn't double click it'll default usually to euro US dollar one hour so make sure that you've double clicked and you've got the one minute price for the currency pair you're interested in. On the right pr push browse and navigate to wherever you save that .hst file. This is important. At the bottom it says files of type. Normally it defaults to ASCII text, CSV, PRN, or TXT. Make sure you click the drop down button and choose metaquotesfiles.hst. You should see the file that you downloaded and unzipped. C click on it, then push open. It can take a few seconds for this to happen. Then push OK, and again you may see a couple of seconds delay. Those, da those files are 65 megabytes in size. It takes a little while for the computer to actually process everything. But once you see that it's returned you to the history center, the import is done and you can rerun the back test. Just push close and you're good to go. You should notice a pretty dramatic improvement in the quality. If not, then there's probably something wrong with the price data. If you have any questions, you can find me at onestepremove.com or you can email info at onestepremove.com. My name is Sean Overton. Thank you for listening.